Now I'm alone. Y'all ever saw National Geographic where where one bird comes back and find the other bird passed away? And that bird just, just stays there with that bird, hoping that bird will come back to life. And it's never coming back to life because it's dead. And you could just see the pain on that bird's face like, what am I going to do now? The person I built a nest with is gone. We started out as two young birds building something together. And the bird comes back to the nest and looks down. And the the other love bird is dead. Either something attacked it, it's slipping for whatever happened to it. That bird is dead. That bird stays by that dead bird for days, won't eat, won't sleep, won't do anything until it comes to grips that that, that, that their love bird is never coming back. Their love bird is dead, right? Finally, that bird summons up the courage to go back to the nest that they built alone. In that nest, the only comfort that lovebird has is when it looks around the nest, in that nest is a nest egg. Where that lovebird might be alone for the rest of his life, he may choose to be, may not choose to. That's that lovebird's option. But looking around the nest, there is a nest egg. So that bird is prepared for the future. Whether that, whether that love bird goes the rest of its life alone or whether it restarts the journey to find another love bird to coexist with. There's a nest egg left. So the solace is that this nest, this lovebird is alone and may be alone for the rest of his life. And it just made me sad thinking about it, man. Like it, like, like legit me thinking about a lovebird being, building a life with another lovebird. It just make me sad, man. Just think about it. The lovebird find out one of one of the, the lovebird that he built a life with over however long it's been has passed away. And the remaining lovebird is just there. Can't believe, like begging for the other bird to get up, but that bird's not getting up. That bird is dead. That bird is not getting up. And so now you're in this state of, I can't believe it just happened to me. What am I going to do? You're trying to figure out life at that moment. At that moment, you're trying to figure out life. You shouldn't have to figure out bills or retirement or final expenses or any of that stuff, man. The main thing that you want to focus on in that moment is is what are you going to do without your loved one? You shouldn't be forced. It's not fair to be forced to think about bills when somebody passes away. And if and and listen, and I'm saying it for that from perspective, imagine being the dead bird. Right? You're passed away. And your loved one is trying to figure out what to do. Right? It's not fair to have bill collectors calling your phone when you're trying to pack up your loved one's clothes and put it in boxes because that person is never coming back. It's not fair. 
But life is not fair. But you know what we can be? Prepared. You could be prepared. 